Okay, so in this introductory video, what I'm going to do is just uh, overview the main elements of the Logisim Evolution interface. So it's a pretty standard uh, interface in that it's broken up into different sections. Uh, so the first section that I'll uh, uh, overview is this section over here, which is basically uh, a section that I like to think of as the toolbox. So all of the different components uh, that you can insert into a simulated circuit uh, are provided in this toolbox over here. So uh, one of the uh, uh, categories of components that we'll be using is the wiring component. So for example, if we wanted to insert a pin uh, onto the simulation canvas, we'd click on the pin uh, and we just bring it over here, click and drop it onto the canvas. Uh, and we can do that multiple times for as many uh, uh, of these pin components as we want. And if we want to select a different component, uh, then that's easy too. We just uh, select the component from the toolbox uh, and we drag it over uh, like so. So there's a whole bunch of different uh, components. So for example, we'll be looking at gates later on in the course. Uh, so we can click on different types of gate and we can bring them over onto the simulation canvas like so. Uh, the simulation canvas is where the circuits are assembled uh, and uh, I suppose it's uh, a virtual uh, uh, simulation canvas. Uh, you can have as many components on it as you want, uh, probably subject to the capacity of the software uh, and your hardware to actually simulate that circuit. Uh, the other component uh, or element of the interface that we're interested in is this uh, section down here on the bottom left hand side uh, and that is uh, the attributes uh, uh, element. So basically you can select any of the components that you can see on screen. So I'm selecting a pin just now uh, and you'll see that when a component is selected the attributes or properties of that component appear down here. Uh, so you can control the attributes and properties of the component basically just by selecting an attribute and changing its value. So at the moment the selected pin uh, is facing east. If I want to get it uh, so that it's facing south, uh, I can do that just by selecting the attribute and changing the uh, value. So we'll make fairly heavy use of this uh, attribute uh, panel later on in the module. Uh, but uh, uh, for the moment, all we need to know is that the attributes of components get changed here. Uh, another aspect of the user interface is the uh, visualization. Uh, so we can zoom in and out using these buttons down here. And there's a nice button that allows us just to zoom in to the required level to get all the components on uh, screen. So that's quite clever as well. Uh, the other thing that we'll be making use of is this little toolbar up here uh, and it has uh, a number of kind of quick selection buttons you know for different types of uh, gates or components that we might want to use. Uh, generally speaking I don't usually bother with that I just use the toolbox over here uh, and then I suppose there's a selection tool which lets you select components uh, for say mass deletion just as you've seen me do there uh, and then the other component or the other element that's important here is the little hand uh, and what that basically does is it switches the uh, simulation canvas away from construction mode to simulation mode uh, in other words you can then you know provide inputs to the circuit, control the circuit and observe the behaviour and outputs of the circuit uh, like that. And then thereafter there's various menu items. Uh, I'm using this on a Mac OS uh, uh, so there's kind of slight difference when you go to do this in Windows but it's essentially the same menu items and so forth. You don't need to really worry about that. They're all fairly standard uh, where we recognise them and where we don't recognise them uh, we can kind of ignore them uh, for the moment. 